guys, it's Lee here. I'm going to show you guys a slow float today. So you have enough space wherever you are, just enough for your mat. Grab some water and we're going to get started. <coughs> I'm going to give you guys a link for the playlist below in the comments. And you can use your own music anytime that you want. We're going to start to cue up the music. Find a grounded position on your mat, on your bottom, wiggle it out, hands on top of your knees, roll your shoulders up towards the ears and then down your back. Take it a couple more times. Notice your breath going in and out through your nose. Start to make your shoulder shrugs go forward. Next, inhale, raise your arms all the way up towards the sky. Let your head drop back. Exhale, take a twist to the right. Left hand on the outside of your front knee. Right hand by the hip, look tall over your right shoulder. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, twist towards the left. Really pull on the outside of the knee. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, raise your arms up towards the sky. Start to take your hands at heart center and take your feet out in front of you into your boat pose, Navasana. Either have the knees bent or you can straighten them out. You can point your toes up towards the sky. It'll help. Remember to lengthen through your spine, lift up your heart towards the sky. Three, two, one. Slowly take your hands right by your hips and lower the feet down to the ground. Take a forward fold over your straight legs. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. Walk your hands over to the right side of your body. So let your neck hang heavy. Inhale to the center and exhale to the left side. So keep your tailbone grounded if you can. Inhale, come back towards the center. Start to take your hands back at heart center. Prayer hands, tall through the spine. Lift up your legs again into high boat or low boat. Still breathe in and out through your nose here. Squeeze towards the core. This time we're going to use more control. Slowly start to take your legs straight out in front of you. Start to balance your ankles. Don't let them touch the mat. And then finally let them touch. Take a forward. Walk your hands to the right side of your body. Inhale to the center and exhale to the left. Inhale, come back towards the center. Rise all the way up. Find your boat pose again. Find the highest that you can be. We're going to do this one last time. Have a smile on your face. And we're going to take it a little bit different. Start to lower the right ankle down towards the mat. So point both of your toes up towards the sky. Lift up through your heart and your chest. And then switch right foot back up towards the sky. Lower the left ankle. Three, two, one. 
two, one, bring it back up. Find your high boat, and then slowly lower both ankles. Don't let them touch. Three, two, one, take a forward fold. In this forward fold, we're gonna take it a little bit different. Grab your peace fingers, pointer finger, middle finger, and you're gonna grab the inside of your big toes. And it's okay if you can't reach there. You can take a towel and wrap it around your feet or use a strap. You can even just take your hands to the top of your shins. Start to feel the length in your spine, lift up through your heart and your chest, chin up. Exhale, take a fold, bend the elbows out wide. Try and still have your shoulders away from your ears here. Let your neck hang heavy. Slowly come back up to center. We're going to switch our hands to switch our feet. Opposite hand to opposite foot. So our hands are going to go on the outside arch by the pinky toes. And if this isn't happening, just hold both of your shins or your ankles here and bend the elbows out wide. Same thing will happen. Want to get deeper. On your next inhale, rise back up. You're going to let go of the right foot. Still feel that crossover. Left hand grabs the outside of your right foot. Take your right hand right by your hip. You're going to lift up your right leg straight up towards the sky. Even if you're holding the back of your calf here, that is fine as well. Take your right arm back behind you. Shoulder to wrist in one line. See if you can gaze back past your fingertips. On your next exhale, start to cross over your ankle, over the left thigh. <clears throat> Take your right hand, press down the right knee as long as it's comfortable for you here. Point the left toes up towards the sky. Inhale, arms rise all the way up. Exhale, to go forward. Inhale, roll up real slow. Take your left hand on the outside of the right pinky toes again. Inhale, left leg, left leg, right leg straight out. Right arm back behind you, gaze past it again. Inhale, come back towards the center. You're going to take your right hand up into the air. Grab the inside arch of your right foot. Extend the leg straight out. Bend the elbows out wide. Nose towards your towards your front leg. Slowly start to release your right foot down to the ground. See if you can still hold it all the way down with control. Take your right hand, cross it all the way over to your outside of your left pinky toes. Bend the elbows out wide again. Let your neck hang heavy. Slowly release the outside of your right foot. Take your left hand right by your hip. Start to lift up your left straight leg straight out in front of you. My legs are super tight, so my hamstrings are not allowing me to straighten my leg. And that's probably most of you, and that's totally okay. However, it feels good to feel this stretch here. And remember, you can always hold the calf. Any way you want to get there, totally your option. Take your left hand back behind you. Remember, tall spine to feel this twist through the stomach. Gaze past the left fingertips. Inhale, come back towards the center. You're going to cross your left leg over your right leg so the ankle is right underneath the knee. Take your left hand and press on your left knee. Still remember to point your right toes up towards the sky. Exhale, take a forward fold over your right leg. Inhale, come back towards the center. Take your right hand on the outside of your left arch. 
On your next inhale, lift your left leg straight back out and left arm back behind you. Still feeling this twist through the stomach, helping our digestive system. Exhale slowly. Nope. Take your left arm up towards the sky. You're going to grab the inside arch of your left foot. Straighten the leg as much as you can, and lifting up through your heart and your chest. Start to bend the elbows out wide and let your forehead come towards your front. With control, still holding the foot, slowly start to lower down your left leg. Take your left hand on the outside of your right foot, bend elbows out wide. Take Let go of the feet, take your hands right by your hips, lift up your feet, find your high bow again. Hands at heart center. We're going to work on the core a little bit more before we start. Start to take a twist and a cross over towards the left side. Match the right elbow and the left knee and extend out your right leg. Lift up through the heart and chest always, look back past your left elbow, pointing both toes up towards the sky. Inhale, come back towards the center, knees meet, and then exhale, twist to the right side, outside left elbow, hooks onto the outside of your right knee, extend your left leg straight out, look back past your right elbow. Inhale, come back towards the center. We're going to take those twists a couple more times, go at your own pace. Inhale to one side, exhale to the other side. Five more. Three, two, and one. Legs come out wide. Take a forward hold. Slowly start to roll up. You're going to take your legs out to the side of your body, start to transition onto your knees. <clears throat> Place your hands right underneath your shoulders. Hands are make stars. Uh, widen out the palms. Knees right underneath your hips, start to wiggle out your bottom. Remember, knees are hip width apart as well. If you have any knee injuries, you can double up your mat here. You can also have a folded blanket on your knees. Start to make circles here with the bottom, finding some wrist stretches as well. If you want to move your hands any way that you want to create some more wrist stretches, maybe you start to turn the palms inward, fingertips towards each other, and you move left and right. And then you can turn the palms out, fingertips away from your body, still moving left and right. Fingertips towards your knees, move forwards and backwards. Find a neutral position. Start to turn your palms up. Fingertips towards each other, move left and right. And then press your palms into the ground. Start to take your palms out in front of you a little bit more. <clears throat> Still shoulder width distance. Start to point the toes up towards the sky and take some ankle bolts. Point the toes up towards the sky, and shift the weight forward, exhale, squeeze your elbows in tight towards your ribs, gaze up a little bit in front of you, tops of the toes meet, meet the mat, inhale just a little bit into your baby cobra here, squeeze your elbows in tight towards your ribs, and then slowly lower down onto your forearms with your elbows in line with your shoulders. Press the palms into the mat. Lift up through your heart and your chest. Look up. And then take your hands back underneath your shoulders. Squeeze elbows in tight. Lift up to your baby 
cobra. And then when you're ready, if you want to go up higher, press the tops of the toes onto the mat and straighten your arms all the way up into your cobra. Remember, hands are shoulder width distance. Palms are spread out wide open. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, you can tuck the toes. You can raise the knees and the thighs off the mat and it's coming into your up dog. Exhale, raise your hips, tuck your toes if you're not there already. Look back past your thighs in your downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet and take three deep breaths here in and out through your nose, stretching out your hamstrings. Maybe you take your toes up a little bit closer towards your hands. To feel the back of your heels press down into the mat. Slowly start to bend your knees, take a little hover, hovering the knees about an inch or two off of the mat. Three, two, one, exhale, find your downward facing dog again. Take a couple deep breaths. Start to find the knees in a little hover. Squeeze through the core. Three, two, one, exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Last time for this hover, find the shoulders and line with the wrists, find your tippy toes. Exhale, slowly lower down the knees to the mat, point the toes up towards the sky, shift your weight forward, finding our modified Chaturanga Vinyasa. Exhale, squeeze elbows in tight. Inhale, scoop your heart open, finding your cobra, or knees and thighs off the mat, into your up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take it one more time. This time we're not going to take it modified. On your next inhale, shift in line, elbows with your wrists. Find your plank position, bottom in one line. Make sure that your toes and your ankles are in one line as well. Shift the weight all the way forward. Exhale, squeeze elbows in tight, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Step up or jump up towards the top of your mat. Take your feet out, hips distance apart, grab opposite elbow, bending through the knees a little bit. Start to sway left and right, keeping your hips where they are as much as possible, hanging into your rag doll. We're going to get deeper into our rag doll. So heel tilt your feet out to the edge, bend your knees even more, very exaggerated here. Feel the chest on top of the thighs. Drag your arms down to the floor. Let your neck hang heavy. As your feet are heel toed out to the edge, turn your toes out a little bit more. Start to find your Malasana Yogi squats. You can always sit on a block here. You don't even have to go as far low. We're trying to have a non-active squat here. So if your bottom is in line with your knees here, this is very active and a whole lot harder. If you want to find your tippy toes um, or find any sway movements here to help you get into your malasana, whatever it looks like for your body, that is your practice today. Taking your hands at heart center, lifting up through the chest, outside of the elbows, press the inside of the knees, pressing them outwards and opening up your hips. Exhale, take your hands down to the mat. <clears throat> You're going to either step your feet back or jump your feet back through your vinyasa as we did before. I'll show you guys one time through. You're going to find the tippy toes. Take your left foot back and your right foot back into your plank. Exhale, shift weight over. 
all the way through the vinyasa. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And I did upward dog instead of cobra. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Open up the hips already. Bend the right knee, heel towards your glutes. So as you take little circles up in the sky with your right leg, right knee, Then that right knee, heel towards the glute, look over your right armpit. Take your right leg straight out to the side of your body. Start to open up your hips even more, pointing the toes toward your face. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, take a crunch underneath the body, right knee into the right armpit. And then take the right knee towards the left armpit. We're going to make a square. Take the right knee towards the left wrist. To the right wrist, back up to the right armpit. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. Lengthen the leg as much as you can. On your next exhale, start to squeeze right knee underneath the chest. Raise through the shoulders here. Feel the difference here. Find those shoulder shrugs, those shoulder raises. This is going to help you press your right foot to replace your right hand. Start to lower down the back knee. Inch back the back knee as far as it feels good to your body. Make sure your front knee is in line with your ankle. You can stay right here or press all the way up. Hands right at your front knee. If you need more stabilization, tuck the back toes on the mat. On your next inhale, raise both arms up towards the sky. Take a small back bend. Exhale, take both hands down to either side of your foot. Start to straighten out your front leg. Point the right toes up towards your face. Finding your half splits here. If you ever want to work on your full splits, you can take your right leg straight out in front of you. You don't want to have your bottom come towards your heels. You're going to lose a stretch. So if you're still not feeling a stretch here, lengthen through your spine. Remember to point the toes up towards your face. And then exhale, fold over the front straight leg. We're feeling a stretch to the back of our right leg. Inhale, come back towards the center. Press through your right foot. Center your left hand down. Inhale, right arm comes up towards the sky. Look up past the fingertips. Lift up off your back knee, finding your dragonfly twist. Take your right hand behind your lower back. Maybe hold your left hip. Still gazing up past the right shoulder. Lower down the back knee. Point the back toes up towards the sky. Take your right hand back and see if you can hold by your pinky toes outside arch. Hug and squeeze in your foot towards your glutes and look out past your right shoulder. Inhale, open back up, right arm towards the sky, release the foot. Exhale, start to close, find that half splits again. Right leg extends out, pointing the right toes up towards the sky. Let your neck hang heavy. Start to bend through the front foot. Keeping your back knee on the mat still. <clears throat> We're going to walk our hands on the left side of our foot. Inch out your right toes almost off your mat. Inch back the back leg. Start to take your right hand on the outside of your right knee. You're going to press out the right knee, having your right arch turn up. Look over your right shoulder. You can feel your left hip come down towards the mat. Inhale, come back towards the center. Take your foot back to the mat right underneath your knee. Taking your hands down to the mat, tuck the back toe, raise the back knee. Start to twist your back heel down to the ground, finding footing here. On your next inhale, start to rise all the way up, bending through the front knee. Both hands come all the way up into your warrior two. Right fingertips out in front of you. 
Feel the shoulders up towards the ears and then down your back. And then take your hands at heart center. On your next exhale, Skandasana squat. You're gonna straighten out your right leg, bending your left knee, right toes come up towards the sky. You can find a flat left foot or the tippy toes, your option. Take your left hand down towards the left side, still on the inside of your bent leg. Inhale, right arm up towards the side. Look up. Take your right hand behind your lower back, maybe around your front bent left leg, and look up past your right shoulder. Have a smile on your face. Slowly release your bind if you have it. Take your hands down to the front of the mat. We're going to crawl back up to the front. Take both hands on either side of your foot. Take your right foot back behind you. Find your vinyasa flow. If it doesn't feel good anymore, ever, always find your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky, bending your left knee. Look up past your left shoulder, past your left armpit. And then take some knee circles in the air. Take your left foot straight out to the side, pointing the toes towards your face, hips in one line. Inhale, left leg straight up towards the sky as high as you can. Exhale, take a crunch underneath your body. Left knee towards your left armpit, down towards your left wrist, to the right wrist, to the right armpit, to the left armpit. Feel those shoulder shrugs. Three, two, one. Inhale, left leg up high towards the sky. Press through your right heel. On your next exhale, crunch underneath the body again. Raise through the shoulders. Replace your left hand with your left knee. I mean your left foot. Lower down your back knee. Beautiful. Press back your back foot as far as you can. And you can stay right here or take your hands to your front knee and lifting up your heart and your chest. When you're ready, if you want to find that balance, lift up both arms up towards the sky by your ears. On your next exhale, windmill the right hand down to the mat, inside of your foot, tuck. Inhale, left arm up towards the sky. If you want to take it more advanced, then tuck your back toe, raise the back knee, bending your full dragonfly twist, and if you want that half bind, wrap your left arm behind your lower back. Slowly start to bend the back knee back to the mat, pointing the back toes up towards the sky. Take your left hand back behind you. See if you can grab by your pinky toes at outside arch. Hug and squeeze in towards your glutes and look up past your left shoulder. Feeling the stretch to the front right leg. Slowly release the foot. And one more hand down to the mat. You're going to take your hands off of the mat to the right side. Inch out your left foot as far as you can as well. Stabilize your right hand on the floor underneath your shoulder. Take your left hand and press out your left knee. Left arch comes up towards the sky. Look up past the left shoulder. On your next inhale, come back towards the center of your mat. Heel toe the left foot back to the center. Try to keep it underneath your knee. <clears throat> Take your hands to the inside of your left foot. Ground your back heel to the ground to prepare yourself for your warrior two. Both heels are in one line. On your next inhale, start to rise all the way up, one milling up, left fingertips in front of you and right behind you. Look forward past your left fingertips. Take some shoulder shrugs here. And then take your hands at heart center. Straighten out your left leg. On your next exhale, skin down and squat to the back of your mat, bottom towards your right heel. Left toes towards the face. Right hand down on the inside of your right leg. 
Inhale, left arm up towards the sky. Look up, past the fingertips. If you want that full bind, you can take it. Inhale, come back towards the center. You're going to crawl your way back up to the front of your mat, centering your left knee. Take your left leg straight back behind you, finding your three-legged dog. And then see if you can find your vinyasa flow. Downward facing dog. Exhale, jump up towards the top of your mat. Find your malasana yogi squat. We're going to take this through a couple more times. Press your hands at heart center. Take your hands down to the mat. Start to move through your vinyasa or meet in downward facing. On your next inhale, raise the right leg up towards the sky. You can still keep those knee rolls or that leg out to the side. It's your option here. I'm not going to stay here too long. Exhale, take a crunch underneath the chest. Raise through the shoulders and press your right foot to replace the right hand. Lower down the back knee. Inhale, start to rise up into your modified warrior one. Exhale, left hand down, inhale, right arm up, finding your dragonfly twist. Maybe that back knee comes up when you find your half bind. Lower down the back knee, point the back toes up towards the sky, hug and squeeze in towards your glutes. Exhale, find your half splits, right toes point up towards the all right, let your back hang heavy. Yes, I forgot this on the other side. Inhale, come back towards the center. Take your hands on the inside of the left foot. Press out the right foot. Take your right hand up towards the sky. Press out the right knee. Open up the hips. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back towards the center, center your right foot, round the back heel to the mat, both heels in one line. Inhale, start to rise all the way up, find your warrior two, your fingertips in front of you. Hands at heart center, exhale, skandasana, squat to the back of your mat. Right toes still face up, if you want to take that bind, you're more than welcome to, you don't have to. Slowly release, and then come up towards the top of your mat. Find your vinyasa flow, or meet in down dog. Inhale, left leg rises up towards the sky. Do whatever you want with your left leg to open it up. Exhale, take a crunch underneath your chest. Replace your left hand with your left foot. Lower down the back knee. Inhale, rise up to your modified warrior one. Exhale, dragonfly twist. Right hand down, inhale, left arm up. When you're ready, lower down the back knee. Hug in the back toes towards the glutes. Exhale, half splits, left leg straightens out. Neck hangs heavy. Inhale, come back towards the center. Take your hands to the right side of your mat. Heel toe your foot out. Turn your left arch up. Press up your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, come back towards the center. Heel toe your foot back to the back. Round your back foot for your warrior two position. Inhale, rest all the way up. Exhale, find your skandasana squat to the back of your mat. Lift up your left arm. 
Inhale, start to crawl back up towards the center of your mat. We're going to take it one more time, left and right side. We're going to take it just a little bit quicker. Step up or jump up towards the top of your mat. Malasana yogi squat again. We're going to work on a crow just for a little bit. Take your hands down to the mat. You're going to squeeze your knees in towards your arms as tight as you can. Hands are big wide stars, still in line with your shoulders. Find the tippy toes as you squeeze in your arms as much as you can. Start to lean forward, look up. Look up is the key to the balance, and if you want to come back on your mat so that if you're afraid to fall down, you'll just fall down on your mat. Press on the hands, tippy toes, squeeze in the arms, point up one foot, then the other foot. And then if you want to move through Chaturanga Vinyasa here, do so or meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, modify warrior one. Exhale, dragonfly twist. Inhaling the arm up if you want that half bind. When you're ready, lower down the back knee. Hug and squeeze in and foot towards the glutes. Inhale, release. Exhale, half splits. Inhale, come back up. Press out the right knee. Find the hips open up over the right shoulder. Inhale, come back towards the center. Find the footing grounding for your warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Your Bhadrasana two. Inhale to the center. Exhale, Skandasana squat to the back of your mat. Find that bind if you like it. Inhale, crawl back up to the front of your mat. Find your vinyasa flow or downward dog. Last time, inhale, left leg all the way up. Exhale, step it all the way through. Inhale, rise up, modified warrior one. Exhale, find your dragonfly twist. Inhale, and then exhale, lower the back knee, hugging the back foot towards the glutes. Slowly release on your inhale, and then exhale, half splits. Inhale, crawl back up to the front, hands on the inside of the foot. Inch out your left foot, press out your left knee, find the hip stretch. Inhale, come back towards the center. Find your footing and grounding to prepare for your warrior two. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, stand up and into the back of your mat. So we release. Inhale, crawl back up to the front. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Take your knees out a little bit wider. Toes touch together. Find the child's pose. Arms reach out in front of you, shoulder width or wider. Let your neck hang heavy. Just notice a couple breaths in and out through your nose here. Noticing what sensations you've worked through your body where you're feeling the stretches. Start to press onto your hands. Start to lower down onto your bottom. Take your feet out in front of you. <clears throat> press through the tops of your feet, bend your knees, lower down onto your back, the vertebrae, five vertebrae. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky. Take an ankle roll. Cross right leg over left, arms out to a T, 
Knees twist over towards the left side and head towards the right. Close your eyes here. And it's okay if the legs don't cross. It's okay if they're just stacked on top. You can always use a block underneath your knees. Inhale, come back towards the center. Extend your right leg up towards the sky. Take an equal roll. Press to the right foot. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Take an equal roll. Cross the leg over the right. Bend the knees to the right side. Head turns to the left. Noticing what emotions are still flowing through your body here. Just give acknowledgement and appreciation for all of them. Inhale, come back towards the center. Extend your left leg back up towards the sky and take an equal roll. Both feet up towards the sky and grab the outside of your feet. Find your happy baby knees and towards your armpits. And start to move left and right, still keeping your tailbone and shoulders on the ground the whole time. Start to find any other ending stretches for your body that feels good. If you want to move into your plow or your supported shoulder stand. Any other twist, bind, or inversion of your practice that you want, that is your choice. When you're ready, come to the center. You can still play with your body. We're going to come into Supta Baddha Konasana, so the feet together, resting in our laying down butterfly pose. Take your hands to your hips, your sacral. And then one hand to your stomach at your solar plexus. We did a lot of work on opening our hips and opening and twisting through our stomach, helping our digestive system, self-confidence, higher self-esteem, and releasing trauma through our hips, opening up our sexuality and comfortability with ourself. Start to open up these areas of your life even more. Slowly start to take out your legs to the edge of your mat and your palms out to the side. Palms turn up, open to receive. Keeping the eyes closed if you need to put a towel over your eyes to help you. You can do that. Finding silence here as we rest for our body, giving it what it needs. Start to see what you want to receive more into yourself.
welcome to stay here for as long as you'd like. Pause the video. You're encouraged to stay here for another five to ten minutes. If you're ready to wake up, start to deepen your breath. Start to roll your ankles and your wrists. your knees, let them move left and right, open your hips. Turn on to the side of your body using your arms as a pillow for your head. Sending my love to your heart here. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly start to come up to the top of the mat. Put your hands at heart center. Acknowledge the light that is inside you. And the light that is ever growing. And brightening. Brighten someone else's day up with your smile and your light. Remember to always shine as bright as you can. Inhale, let your head drop back slightly. Take the thumbs up to your third eye. Open up your inspiration and your intuition. As we all bow together in gratefulness and gratitude for this time and space we have shared, we all say namaste. Thank you all for joining me for this slow flow. Take your time on your mat for as long as you need to take a rest. Sit here and meditate a little bit longer if you can for another five or ten minutes. And uh, thank you all for joining this class.